Well, the wife of former DEA agent Joe Bongiovanni was back on the stand today at her husband's bribery trial. Lindsay Bongiovanni staunchly defended her husband while under cross-examination. She was one of the final witnesses in this lengthy trial that is nearing its conclusion. Channel 2's Dave McKinley has been following this case closely from court. Dave? Mary Alice, prosecutors contend that Bon Giovanni was under tremendous financial pressure when he allegedly began taking bribes from drug dealers in exchange for tipping them off to investigations. Some of the testimony today regarded he and his wife having amassed tens of thousands of dollars in credit card bills and an FBI financial uh, forensics expert earlier testified. We have more on that right now. Prosecutors contend that Bongiovanni was under tremendous financial pressure when he allegedly began taking bribes from drug dealers in exchange for tipping them to investigations. Some of the testimony today regarded he and his wife having amassed tens of thousands of dollars in credit card bills and an FBI financial forensics expert earlier testified that during the time in question, there was more than $70,000 in unexplained deposits into Bon Giovanni's bank account. But the defense explained that the expert didn't include the income Bon Giovanni had derived from renting a home he owned in North Buffalo over those years, including from his parents who paid him rent in cash. Under a blistering cross-examination by Assistant U.S. Attorney Nicholas Cooper, Lindsay Bon Giovanni was grilled about the tax returns she prepared for them using TurboTax. He noted that in one year, the line on the return for rental income didn't include anything. That wasn't honest, was it? asked Cooper. I must have made a mistake, said Mrs. Bon Giovanni. If you look at other forms, you'll see I did not make that mistake. From a trove of evidence carts, Cooper produced tax returns from other years where there was nothing listed as income from rental properties. Still a mistake, asked Cooper. Maybe there was something wrong with the software, Mrs. Bongiovanni offered. Despite the courtroom drama over taxes, we will note Bongiovanni is not charged here with underreporting income. He is charged with accepting bribes. At one point, when Cooper asked Mrs. Bongiovanni if her testimony should be considered biased because she's married to the defendant, that's when an exasperated Mrs. Bon Giovanni said, Mr. Cooper, that's my husband over there. He's a good man. Obviously, I love my husband. And if that means I'm biased, then OK, Mr. Cooper. The last of over 70 witnesses in the trial is expected to testify tomorrow. On your side in the newsroom, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.